kind of makes the internet all nice, all nice up here. Yeah, there's a tango competition going downstairs down now the, at the studio, so we're just kicking it. We're having a good time, so we're not nothing's gonna interfere with us here at this podcast today, guys. It is July 24th. We have an amazing guest. Oh wait, hey, what state? What state are you in? I'm in Canada. Oh my yeah. god. Yo, not even a state in a different uh, country. I'm in, a, I'm in a, a, a music state. I'm in a musical in, state. No, oh my goodness. She's in a musical state right now. It's Dude, called my. Canada. Yeah, it's called musical state Canada. I get it. I get it. So, guys, this is going to be super cool. USA, Canada teaming up today to give you the hottest, the hottest interview of your life. I wouldn't say that just to say that. Ariel's Entertainment Podcast, July 24th. Um, make sure you guys check out all the links available on all podcast platforms. Tell your friends and family. Yeah, I got fresh lined up this morning. I got a fresh lined up this morning. Let's go. Yeah. Welcome, best friends. Welcome, listeners all around the world. It's your boy, Rico Suave, Latino Heat, the most electrifying podcaster in the world. Yeah. Here we go. Ariel's Entertainment Podcast. I got to feel myself first. Self-love is the best love. Yeah, that's a reminder. That's a reminder to my assistant over here just looking at me. Guys, thank you so much for tuning in to the podcast. It's a hot day here in Denver, Colorado. So I hope you're having a perfect day. All right. Besides all that, we have an epic episode for you today. All the way from Canada. That's my favorite country other than um, Costa Rica. Guys, Canada is super amazing. They're so nice to me up there. Let's bring her in. She is a recording singer. Okay. My goodness. She uh, put out a single out here called Hula, A Girl on Dash. So that's how we do it. That's the latest single. We're about to drop that here soon. It's like an exclusive, that multi-talented, the incredible... Danica. Woo! Man, that's what it is. That's what it is. Man, you know, you know how many people are clapping right now? People are like shouting right now, Danica. Danica. People are shouting right now. Okay, let's get straight into it. How's your day so far? How's Canada? It is great. Thank you for asking. <laughs> How's Colorado good? Yeah, Colorado's good. It's hot. It's 98 degrees, but we love in life to the fullest. Nice. Straight up. How's the studio? Studio's great. It's been amazing. I've been super inspired lately, so I have a lot of new songs. Ooh. <laughs> that is awesome because that's one of that's one of my questions to ask you. Where you find your inspiration? Yo, I <laughs> love I told it. You, told you this podcast was meant to be today i i wrote these questions down i was like i gotta ask her these questions how she's been follow up with her and that was one of the questions okay before we get into the conversation i gotta do a quick shout out right here guys arielent.com is the best way to support the podcast arielent.com uh there we go the web likes to be slow here just a little bit there it is arielent.com podcast salsa book me for music I got a lot of shows coming up. I got a show on July 29th. I got a show on August 5th. I got a show on August 10th. And I got a new show September. Yeah, I got a show in September. Guys, I'm blowing up here in Colorado. August 10th and is a special one because I'll be in I'll be I'll be in LA Sunset Boulevard on August 10th. I'll be with our boy Danica. I'll be with our boy Sir Isaac. Do you remember Sir Isaac? Yes. Shout out to Sir Isaac. Oh, yeah. So I'll be with him in LA. Oh, it's going to be lit. I'll make sure I'll make sure you see the post. I'll yes. make sure you see the post. All right. All right, guys. I'm getting too excited. I got a lot of shows coming up, so I'm super stoked. Okay. Get get back to focus. YouTube. The YouTube channel. Go to the search engine, arielent.com or Ariel's Entertainment Podcast. The podcast is blowing up. The podcast is blowing up more than my music, but you know what? That doesn't matter to me because we're all the same. Guys, search engine, arielent.com, Ariel's Entertainment Podcast. I just dropped six videos, live performances today. Six live performances. I, sh I We got 15 to more upload, but we dropped six. We dropped six for you guys. Boom. Blowing up over here. Donation links down below. Apple and Spotify blowing up right now. Apple and Spotify donation links down below, guys. I got the prayer here, and we're bringing our guest back in. Here we go. I swear, I'm talking too much over here because I'm so incredible. Here we go. This, the, here's the prayer. 
Thank you, Jesus, God, our guardian dear, to whom God love permits us here ever this day and night. Um, uh, ever this day and night, come to our side to light and guard, to rule and guide. Wow, thank you, Jesus, God, for bringing me back to focus as well uh, for having Danica on the show, for all the millions and millions of listeners tuning in, for our family, for safe travels, for all oh, music, for bookings, um, for our incredible health, for family. I can go on and on. Praise God, glory to God, amen. Guys, that's what I do. I bring Jesus God into the conversation. He tells me what to say and what to do. All right, Danica's back on the show. Hey, Danica, tell us who you are and how we can support you just in case people are tuning in and haven't listened to the last episode, please. Okay, so hi, everybody. My name is Danica Bucci. Woo! I am a singer, top liner, recording artist, performer, um, slash producer. I'm a new producer, but wow. I am a producer. And um, yes, I have, so you talked about, talk about the socials. You can follow me on all social media um, sites. So I have TikTok, Instagram, YouTube, Twitter. Um, I'm trying to think of all of them, just all of them. You can go to, and you can go to either one of those and click the link in my bio and all of the social buttons will be there. So whatever you guys can think of, I'm on there. Um, and you can listen to my music there as well. That is true. That is all facts right there. That's all we bring you to the podcast is all truth. That's Danica Bucci. That's your last name? Bucci? Got it. Yes. 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 I said it right. Thank you. That's D A N I C A B U C C I. That's D A N I C A B U C C I. Man, we're going to talk about so much right now. I got, this is incredible. Hit the link tree, like, comment, share, save, and follow. There we go. Hit the link tree. You can go to her Facebook, her Instagram. She's on. She's on top of her social media game. That's what. That's legit right now. I gotta get it hands down. She's beating me left and right right now. She's a singer, top liner. Go check it out. Performer and the newest producer. We about to jump into that here soon, guys. Go to the YouTube channel. That's what I did. I subscribed last time she was here. But we have an exclusive hula girl on the dash. We about to listen to that here soon. Now we're gonna close out to that song. I can't wait. You guys are in for a treat. Okay, enough with me. Let's bring our guest back in. Yo, Danica, tell us what else. What's new? Tell us. Tell us since the last time you came, or what's new? Just drop it. Yes. Well, it's been a while since the last time, so there's been so many things. Um, just obviously music, music, and more music. Believe it. More music than that and more music than that um and that's you know that's a good uh that's a good thing um i've been just uh really honing my craft um i really enjoyed i remember the last time that we spoke we were promoting my last um my very first single that came out that i had produced all on my own um and it's kind of cool because it just brings it back to you. That was like the start of me first starting to produce my own music um, and release it fully independently. Um, and from there, I've released songs in between the last time we've had our, our chat and this time. So it's kind of cool to to be able to say that because um, yeah, it's been, it was back then it was like the very first one. So now it's like, okay, well this is, I'm getting more comfortable. So um, yeah, I like I like doing it. And uh, I like the fact that I'm just learning and getting better. Once again, I, I never really refer to myself as like a professional um, producer, but I've, um, I've really studied and, and put a lot, a lot, a lot of hours into it. And I can honestly and humbly say I've, I've worked really hard to be able to um, say that I've gotten better. And now I do call myself a producer. So uh i'm yeah i'm happy about that so that, that yeah. incredible hands down i like what you said uh you said music 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 you're getting more comfy and yeah. as well you're getting better and better because you keep studying you keep studying no that's that's so true as uh, same as me i remember when i first got you on the show i was nervous and uh i was you know just starting out and and just trying to just get this podcast going and you believed in me so thank you so much. Well, it's mutual, right? We were both kind of starting out on something new and I think it's really nice to have that. Um, we'll always have that, you know, where it's like we both started out with something and then we can always come back to 
uh, every so often and, and just really be grateful, but then also be proud of ourselves. Oh so, man, I'm hella proud yeah. of myself. I think we yeah, might be yeah. too. Oh man. It's awesome. I think it's great. I think, and that's the thing too, is, you know, as long as you are humble and you remain humble and you, you know, you, you're always, um, especially with this field, you're always, um, having to self-assess, right. Um, so that you don't lose yourself. I think it's really cool that there's nothing wrong with celebrating, um, your successes. So, um, we do it. I think it's safe to say we do it in a positive, humble way, which is great. So, yo, for real, like we, we keep celebrating our successes, you know, and then we self, you know, when I really get hit hard with self-assess is, yeah. when, uh, let's see, you know, just seeing other people, you know, not not being able to live, you know, oh man, I, I have fresh water every single day. And you see people that don't have fresh water every single yeah. day. So that when I see stuff like that, I'm just like, and then that hits me really hard because I'll be celebrating every day and then I run and then I'll hit that and I'll be like, oh man. Yeah, it's true. It is very true. And it's uh, one of those things where, you know, like I, I can't speak for you, but I can kind of feel that you're the same you just want to heal the whole world and it's really you feel very very small because you realize you're just one person but you're trying to to make that difference and and then you just realize well you can it's just slow and in steps you know you're not going to heal the whole world right away but in in steps you can so i know but it is really it hits you hard and then it does can. it does and then the whole time you want to encourage people the whole time you just want to encourage yeah. people it's all we can do but yep yeah it's, yeah, man, yeah. You, i you know i'm so happy that you came out with hula girl on the dash and then as well you became a producer as well you can be more comfortable with saying that and then i know you i know a little while back ago you did the you did a uh a cover on the mermaid song yes i did <laughs> yes i did <laughs> that got a lot that got a lot of comments on TikTok. It did, and um, Jody Benson actually. Oh, don't tell the me! Original, don't. The, the original Little Mermaid. She liked my. Um, I also did a makeup tutorial, a Little Mermaid makeup themed, and she liked it, and I was so happy. I was so. I know. I was so like. I still look at me. I'm just like, look at my face. It just. Went I know. Crazy. I know. <laughs> I'm so happy. Yeah, she, I was so happy. I was happy. I can't even, I don't even know what else to say. Well, uh, yeah, she liked it. She liked it. And I was really, yeah, I, was, I still am. Like, once again, you can see it all over my face. Um, yeah, I, I just wanted to do it. I love the new, I love the live action. I went to see it the day. Okay. Came out. Um, I love it. Um, I obviously love the 1989 film, the Disney um cartoon animated film mm -hmm. um so and i just you know i just want to be a mermaid so you know, i am hey you never oh, yeah. hey, i'll never know <laughs> yeah that's true. well i just told you so yeah oh there no, you go but, yeah there you go you have the secrets <laughs> um, out there yeah so but yeah i just i uh i i loved it i really did so i encourage people to go and support the live action film um and uh yeah and you guys can check out my little mermaid cover i did part of your world so i liked it it was fun yo the whole world loved it it was on TikTok, and it went viral hey not only done the TikTok, i saw that when i saw you first post that i was like oh here we go yeah because <laughs> i knew you're gonna kill it i knew you're gonna kill it because i saw i was like i think i saw you post it maybe like an hour or two hours i saw it, i was like oh man he's gonna kill this <laughs> thank you it was like perfect timing i think you dropped it during the movie time too I did. I dropped it. It was like, uh, so the movie came out. They usually do like a Thursday, like late. Yeah, I remember seeing something like and that. I did Thursday. Yeah, I did. I did. I I didn't purposely time it like right for then, but it was just the way that I had recorded because I record all the background music for my covers, even not just my originals. And so I was recording the background music at like earlier in the week. And then I was like, you know what? I'm just going to put it out. And yeah, I just released it on the Thursday, but yeah. <laughs> That's super sweet. Yeah, thank you. When did you, uh, what record program are you using? Um, so I go um, back and forth. I really like Ableton. Right now I went back to Logic. Um, it depends on what sound I'm going for. So with Hula Girl on the Dash, and I know we'll talk about that a little bit, but with Hula Girl on the Dash, there was a little bit more um, organic sounds in that song so i find logic is really good for 
um, those like organic. Oh. Yeah, so they're good for different. See, that's another thing that I just studied over time, you know, different sounds and different programs and and um, and what their specialties are. So Ableton's very, very good for like more live, um, like dance music, a lot of dance music and um, uh, chill, dubstep, that kind of um, those elements. And then I just found Logic to be really good for um, I don't even know they're they're good with everything they're they're more general and i like that yeah so yeah, yeah. Look, at, look at you speak about producing programs right there that's super sweet i hope next time when i speak with you i can talk like that because i'm about to jump into that um oh that's awesome that's yeah. amazing yeah, no, i if you if you get me going on it i could talk for hours because i'm so excited about it i'm so yep. passionate about it yeah and when i talk when i talk to my producer friends oh gosh it's like our whole night's gone. We just spend the whole night talking about um, different yeah. programs, different stuff to do, EQing, new new oh. um, hacks that come out, just all kinds of really cool things. And oh. then yeah. don't even start. Yeah. Don't even start. Yeah, oh. I'm excited for you though. You're gonna have to let me know how how it, your journey is because we'll be one of those people. We'll talk about that's it. What's up? Yeah, we will. Yeah, we will. Can we? Can we? That's a perfect segue to yes. the single hula girl on the dash tell us a little bit about that single what 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 inspired you behind that yeah um so i wanted to come out with a summer song oh, uh, i love summer we had been coming out of you know just winter it's like a hibernation time it's a quieter time um i find i spend more time by myself around then and so in the summer i'm always ready to be like a mermaid Barbie, just I'm showing myself. I go outside. Just you're more. You see people more. I don't know if that's everyone, but I feel like that's the majority of just because it's cold in the winter, right? And so you go out, and so I wanted something for people to, um, you know, have for the summer. I also thought to myself, well, I always go into to um, you know writing a song. I always think, how can I make a message um, different? So I thought, well, what's, you know, what haven't I talked about? And so I, I tried to find something that I hadn't talked about in other songs. I also thought of one of my favorite things to do is cruising in a car, listening to music. And so it put me in that mindset. And then I just thought of a hula girl on the dash. Mm -hmm. I have her right here. She's so cute. <laughs> um, and I just thought of a hula girl on the dash is in a car. You're driving. And then just from there, I thought of, you know, how can I... You know what i'm like what am i thinking how can i place this into a song and um and yeah i just thought of i thought of hula girl on the dash and and from there i i wrote the song so i was oh yeah how long did it take to write that song um the chorus took me one and a half minute um just because i i thought hula girl on the dash and then i thought she moves right she moves yeah yeah yeah, yeah. I just shook her. Hold on, I'll let her move on her own. So there's she is. Um, shout picture, out! Shout out! Shout out to the hula girl. Yeah. Um, but um, I just thought, okay, the hula girl on the dash, and then what came in my head was the hula the hula girl on the dash. She's got more moves than you, and so I thought, hmm, how am I gonna? What does that mean? And I thought, it. So basically, what that means is, um. I'm in the car, I'm in that setting, I'm thinking of a hula girl on the dash, she's got more moves than you, just means um, she's willing to make more moves and take more chances than um, I had someone in mind. And then I just started thinking from there, like, uh, you know, this this could be a really cool Believe in Yourself song. And so the, the song is the hula girl on the dash, she's got more moves than you and she ain't worried about the things you say that I can't do. And we laugh together up the boulevard singing, I made it, I made it, I'm free. Just the hula girl on the dash and me headed straight for the city of dreams. And it was just, you just picture yourself going for your dreams. You're in the car, you're on the way to the city of dreams and it's just the hula girl on the dash and yourself. And that's all you need is yourself. And so it turned into one of those songs where it was, wow. Um, yeah, and it just checked all the boxes for what I wanted. I wanted a different theme. A lot of stuff that I write about is it turns into a love song. It's not necessarily about anybody. Um, it just, that's a common theme that I write about. Um, and this one was a little bit different. It was more of a self-love song. And you mentioned self-love at the beginning of the podcast. And I thought that was cool. 
um it was very on theme so it's a self-love song and it's saying you know go after your dreams don't let anybody tell you you can't um you have yourself and then i just touched upon i have myself but i also have this hula girl on the dash and um that's all you need so uh throughout the song you'll hear little lyrics there that just kind of support like that um that sentiment so yeah i like it i'm happy with it very happy with it strong sentiment with it and i like what you said you did you put us with a visualized picture of cruising with the, with the music on with the hula dash girl on the dashboard and yes. um, just going just believing in yourself and chasing your dreams because she's got more moves than you because she's actually cha uh she's actually taking chance yeah she is. i'm taking a chance and she's coming with me and so like even she even she has more moves than you and it was kind of right. just that thing where it takes you out of you know um and you'll hear it like there's lyrics saying said that i just wouldn't make it you know just little things like that where um i just i think it's a really good uh song that i encourage and hope people would listen to if they if they need that you know believe in yourself um go for your dreams uh song so yeah wait this just came out like two weeks ago no no it just came out friday it just came out uh three days ago is it already yeah. been three days? Oh, hold on, hold on. Right, yeah. Wow. Yeah. Okay, so yeah, it's it's been a it's been though I feel like the weeks are just flying by right now, and uh, I was just like, wow, well, it's already Monday today. So get this, I wish I knew this. So we went to um, Arizona. We took a trip, and we took a trip. My girl and I, we took a trip, and we went down Route sixty six, the old road Route sixty six. It's very famous here in the United States, and. Um, and that's the song to play it to because when you drive on that road it feels very dreamy it yeah okay i i'm not gonna lie to you i pictured that road like in in writing the song i mean that's not the only place i pictured but i did think of it so that's oh, cool. that. G. yeah that's crazy i did i did picture that um yeah, that's kind of cool, actually. I thought of, you know, the boulevard, Hollywood Boulevard. You know, there's all kinds of different um, famous roads. And I mean, but this is the cool part, though, right? Is you just did this right before our eyes. You made it something relatable to you and what you were doing. And that's exactly what I want. Every single time I release a song, I always say that it's yours now. It's your song now, you know, to everyone. And I think that's so cool because I named the city of dreams in the song but it doesn't have to be it can be whatever you uh picture the city of dreams to be it could be route 66 it could be uh you know um somewhere in new york city there's there's so many opportunities there just anywhere so i think that's cool that you know that that's your uh version of of city of dreams you know what i think that every time before you play that song to a crowd you yeah. say exactly what you told me you say all right guys this next song um i want you to just visualize your dreams all yep. right and, and then you just cruising visualize you because this is what you when you said in a car cruising with the music and being your favorite yep. thing, i visualize that and then yeah yeah so whenever you start because people because that that helped me a lot so yeah that is super cool that's good i'm glad that's what exactly what i wanted so i'm glad taking chances it's about taking chances and here's my next question now that we talked about hula hula girl on the dash uh have you been lately on clubhouse no i have not i have not um i got a new phone and i stopped getting notifications for it and oh. now that you just asked me again i just remembered that i don't have my notifications on for it I still have it. Yeah. But I'm getting notifications. Um, no, have you been on just, there? I just get it in the mornings. Uh, there's this gratitude room. Um, I am. Oh, a, yes. okay. I'm an okay. admin in the in the in the gratitude room in the mornings. But other than that, I don't get on it. I love that. I love that. Yeah, oh, it's cool. cool. Yeah, I like it a lot. I like it a lot. We've been we've been going since, geez, over two years. So yeah. Wow, I like that because I feel like it's. I mean, that's the best way to start your day. It's only yeah, we start at six thirty in the morning, Colorado time. 
Oh, I love that. That's really nice. Um, I'm going to send me the uh, room. I will. And I have to put notifications on, and that'll give me a reason to put notifications yeah, on. Yeah, we go from 6.30 to almost, almost till 9 in the morning. We do it like for three or four hours. Oh, wow, that's awesome. I know. People come in, and it's, it's, it's awesome. Yeah, we keep, yeah, it's legit. Yeah, that's, I mean, I'm sure, I mean, to, to be around for years, obviously it's impacting people positively, so that's good. Yeah, yeah, that's so yeah, cool. so I'll send you the link, and then ever you ever you got a time, you pop in for two seconds, you say what up. Yeah, I will, I will, I love that. Thank right. you. Thank Man, you. we got so many, we got, I think I got some more questions here, but before I ask any more questions, is there anything else you want to say or shout out, anything you want to talk about? I know, don't you, three days don't you have a show coming up if you win okay so this is what i was yeah i was gonna say that thank you okay um so i am in a contest to open up for some major major artists they have not announced who it was Whoa. in the past it was taylor swift billy eilish there's been some big names um so they are big names that i'm opening for they haven't announced who yet i am in the contest i am currently first place yeah if you click that link right there you will see it's called opening act. I am currently first, um, but I have three days left for you guys to vote for me, please. So if you do what you just saw on the screen, if you click the link in my bio on any of my socials, um, you click the link in my bio, it is the first link that comes up. It is called opening act and you can click to vote for me. You can vote once a day for free every day. If you're feeling extra generous, um, you can donate. Uh, it gives me more votes. It gives you more opportunities a day to vote for me. The money goes to the American Foundation for Suicide Prevention. So it is a good cause um, uh, if you feel moved to do that. Otherwise, if you could just click the link and vote for the free daily vote. So yeah, right there. So the purple, you can donate to support the American Foundation for Suicide Prevention. It gives you more than one chance to vote for me per day. But if you just click that free daily vote once a day, every day, you can vote for free. And I appreciate it so, so much. Um, it's, uh, yeah, the, the show is going to be in New York City. And uh, it's, I'm... I am so grateful and I promise to bring you guys along with me, whether you can physically be there or I will stream whatever I'm allowed to stream, That'd be sweet. Um, you know, just even the journey or backstage or something that I'm, I don't know. I don't know what I'm allowed to stream. I'm not making promises. I'm just saying, I promise to bring you guys with me as much as I can. And of course I'll bring you with me in my heart, but I, um, I will be so grateful if you guys please vote for me. It really, um, it means so much. Thank you so much to everybody who has been voting. I've been getting messages from people. I asked people, you know, a couple people to vote for me the first day and I let them know that you had to vote every day. And I thought, you know, people are going to forget to vote every day and I'm not that type to ask every day. And it's been a, a really pleasant surprise where I've had people write me, sending me screenshots that they have been voting every day. And it means so much to me. Um, I've gotten emotional at times because it really does mean a lot just for people to even think of me every day to even do that. So um, thank you so much. And if there's, you know, any fellow artists out there, if there's anything you would like me to vote for you for, I believe in support so i will support you as well and i'm really passionate about that so you vote for me i will i will vote for you and we're you know we support each other so and i have done that before so um you can ask people and i have a good reputation for that so oh, cool. yeah thank you for thank you so much everyone who has and yes if you guys could please do that that would be amazing there it uh, is yeah, yeah. There's the there's the other shout out to the opening act. So thank you. And then obviously click the second link in my bio to listen to Hula Girl on the Dash. Um, That's yeah. what it is. That's what it is. Yeah, thank you. I want to show everybody go to the link tree in the link tree. You can go straight from there from the Instagram. So the Instagram is Danica Bucci. That's D A N I C A B U C C I on the Instagram. Like, comment, share, say, follow. You already know. Hit the link tree. The link tree will take you straight to the opening act vote. Yes, it should. Yes. And then as well, you got to listen to Hula Girl on the Dash out right now. Link right there as well. YouTube, we're about to close it out on that. Just subscribe on the YouTube. And then make sure you guys do the vote on the uh, opening act. It's dropping right now, guys. Boom.
All right. That's awesome. I got the video ready right here. I got the video ready. We got six more minutes left. I got a couple more questions here. I want to ask. Um, let's see here. We got so many good ones. How do you structure, since you're, you know, you're an artist and you got music, singing, got recording, produce, how do you structure your day to make sure you complete your goals? Hmm. Um, it's different every day. I'm not yeah. going to lie. Uh, I would love to be one of those people that gets up, has a really amazing routine that I can say that I stick to. I don't because I'm very emotional and a lot of art relies on if the creativity flows and sometimes it's not there and sometimes it's there. And so to say, honestly, mm -hmm. I do this, 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 it's not it just doesn't happen um but to 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 try and set myself up for that i definitely um i pray always i start off my day being grateful to god for another day i am grateful for my family my loved ones um always that's how i start my day and then i just really um i really really tell myself actively don't let things upset you and and things will try throughout the day and things do um but i try to tell myself don't spend more than a few minutes on it and then put it away and a lot of times i really try to tell myself okay is this uh bad thing that's happening coming from you or is it from someone else maybe projecting um and Sometimes, you know, if it's something for me, I'll handle it and fix the problem right away. I don't like, you know, leaving it like I don't like that. I like fixing stuff right away. Mm -hmm. um, and if it's not, if it's like, let's say a mean comment or something like that, I will say to myself, OK, you're upset. You're allowed to be upset because you're human, but it's not you. So put that away because you need to focus on uh, the good that you're meant to do for the day. And so don't let that affect you. And so then I just put it away and um and i let god handle it always but yeah i just uh i just that was deep I, you that, have to that do that deep. you have to try because you can really get especially artists and i'm not trying to say you know we're extra emotional or anything but we are and you can really let things ruin your day and it affects i know it affects me if i'm trying to get a song done and i'm upset and i'm stressed it will not get done and then i then you feel worse because you didn't get your song done and then it's so um yeah you have to you definitely have to talk to yourself every day and yeah i like what you said the most like you just like god handle it i do i always and he always does mm -hmm. yeah so. yep he wants us to talk to him he wants yeah. us to talk to him all the time for instance even if it's like, you know, hey, thank you, God, for this podcast. He loves that. He, yeah. he loves, like, if we go to, if I go to the grocery store, hey, God, thank you so much for getting me here safely to the grocery store. Even the little things when I'm at work, hey, God, thank you for making me the best worker here at this job. Or thank you, God, for my job. Even the little, you know, he wants us to talk to him. Yeah, Even when we're going through situations, like you said, oh, my gosh, mm -hmm. killing it. We, we got one more question here real quick. Uh, real quick, it yes. goes like this. How do you find collaborations with other artists? How do I like, how do I, um, what do I think of them or how do I find people to yeah. collaborate? The second, second one. one. Okay. Um, I recently, I haven't been, uh, trying to reach out to people. I've, I've been so focused on my, my stuff by myself, but I've had a lot of people, which is ironic when I've been reaching out to people, there was a lot of people during that time that wanted to work with me, but they were busy or something would happen. Yeah, 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 yeah. I found that since I've been working on stuff on my own, I've had people writing me constantly to work with them. And I'm thinking, oh my gosh, now I'm the one who's busy, but it's, we, we have, I do have things planned um with um some amazing people so please stay tuned for that and uh i'm excited about that but how do i find them i just honestly i um it, it just falls in my lap to be honest i know that sounds very like oh must be nice i try <laughs> I feel like what you put out on the internet, even how you present yourself or, or the work that you do, 
Um, I feel like the right people who want to work with you, they'll reach out because they see like your, you know, your product. And um, then those people, you know, that are like artists that are like me or, you know, the, the work ethic, you know, you, you, you start to see, you recognize who's working hard, who's really committed, who's a good person, who, you know what I mean? So, and then you, they, we find each other as people. So that is yeah. so true. That is so true. Danica, thank you so much for coming on the podcast. I'm going to close it out with your song. If I get thank you for having me. Thank you so much. Thought I had it on here. Yeah. Here we go. <laughs> there we go. Come on, man. I got it here, guys. Thank you, everybody, for tuning in. Ariel's Entertainment Podcast. If it plays here, it should be playing. I don't know why it's not playing. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> We do it live, guys. There it is. We do it live. We do it live. <laughs> there we go. Woo! It's coming. It's coming. If it doesn't come, I will put it in the podcast, guys. Perfect. I will edit it in. Don't slip. Mm -hmm. All right, commercials passing by Arrows Entertainment Podcast, guys. Thank you so much for all your support. Thank you for tuning in. Tell your friends and family. And here we go. Thank you guys so much. <laughs> I, blame it, I blame it on the tango people downstairs. <laughs> Either way, we'll edit. Well, I'll, yeah, I'm gonna have to edit it in, guys. Yo. Thank you.